So I just would like to know a little about yourself, what you do, and what are the real bad invasives around the Texas area? Well, basically what I do is oversee a program that uh, tries to, to manage aquatic invasive species that come into Texas. Uh, it's primarily plants, but in some cases animals as well. Uh, in Texas, probably some of the worst of the uh, uh, invasive aquatic plants would be giant salvinia, uh, water hyacinth, uh, hydrilla, and, uh, and, and possibly as a riparian plant, uh, Arundo donax. Do you think that uh, awareness of having people know would help? Well, certainly. Any time we can uh, make people more aware of the invasive species problem, I think it's a good thing. We, uh, last year we had a giant Salvinia awareness campaign. Uh, this year we've got a, uh, a, a zebra, zebra mussel campaign, and we're planning to continue that in future years. Are you hoping to get more invasives on the illegal list? It depends on how the uh, risk analysis come out, <laughs> but uh, we are looking at a, a number of other species now, and uh, I do know that some of them uh, have ranked pretty high in terms of uh, how invasive they should be if they get into Texas. So some of those may wind up on the uh, on the prohibited list in the future. Now I've only got one hard question. Uh, I'm going to hit you with it right now. Okay, go ahead. What's your favorite invasive or the one that you dislike the most? I can't, I wouldn't say I actually dislike any of them, but uh, the ones that, that cause the most problem have been uh, hydrilla. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would say I don't personally dislike them, but, but I dislike what they do. So uh, hydrilla has caused quite a bit of problem because it's difficult to uh, it's difficult to deal with. It's very expensive to uh, to treat. Well, it's just those huge mats, and they float to the shore. And crawfish are caught in fish. Well, in some cases, if you're going to use an herbicide, hydrilla will cost you hundreds of dollars per acre to treat. And uh, sometimes. Uh, shoreline residents are, or, and anglers are, are nervous about using triploid grass carp to eat it. Now, obviously, you know, obviously giant salvinia causes some, some big problems too. There's one reservoir, giant salvinia, went from, uh, from 150 acres to 1,000 acres to 3,000 acres in, in, in two years. So it, it can really get out of control fast. So we're, we're really concerned about that one. And water hyacinth is a perennial problem in East Texas, mm -hmm. so that's that's another one that is uh, that's high on our radar. But I, I'm really pretty concerned about Arundo donax too, just because of the fact that it's growing along the banks of the Rio Grande. You have thousands and thousands of acres of it there now, and it's taking water out of the Rio Grande at an alarming rate relative to native vegetation. So I, I think that that one is probably uh, more of a problem than people realize. A lot of people aren't aware of how it's growing so quickly. That's right. Yeah, I have a special place in Arunda Donax in my heart because I, my first video about invasive plants is about Arunda Donax. <laughs> so he's like a like an old friend that's gone bad. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank Dr. you. Appreciate it.